So in that opening clip, you saw me browsing around Windows 11 and that was on a Synology virtual machine. So today I'm going to show you how to set that up. So to get started, the first thing we have to do is download the Windows ISO file. And I want to send a shout out to my buddy Unky Joe over at Unky Joe's Playhouse for pointing me to UUP Dump. That's UUPDump.net and I'll put the link to this down in the video description if you're interested in checking it out. So let's go ahead and search for the Windows ISO image. So we're going to come into the search bar and we're going to just type in Windows 11 and hit search. And under the results, we're going to go with the second one, which says Windows 11 Insider Preview AMD 64. I'm going to leave my language set to English, but you would choose the language of your preference here. Let's go ahead and click on Next. Under Choose Edition, I'm going to just leave everything set to the default for now. Let's go ahead and click on Next. Under select your download options, I'm going to change from the second option to the third option that says download, add additional editions and convert to ISO. And we're just going to scroll down and we're going to click on create download package. Now, I've already done this yesterday, so I'm not going to do this now. However, this is not going to download the ISO file. This is simply downloading the package to run the script on your local computer. So let me show you what you end up with once you've created or once you click on create the download package. You'll end up with a zipped version of this folder right here. Now I've already unzipped the folder and moved it to my C drive which I highly suggest you do. If you unzip it and try to run it from the downloaded location there is a chance that the script may not run and I did encounter that so I suggest extract it to your C drive and run it from there. Let's go inside the folder and take a look at what we have. So at the very bottom, you can see UUP underscore download underscore Windows. You'll run this on your local computer and it'll download the file. Now, that said, it took a very long time. It took almost two hours for the script to download the ISO file and compile it together. Once it's all said and done, you will end up with the ISO file right here. Now, I took that ISO file from my Windows computer and I moved it over to my Mac so that I can get it uploaded to the Synology NAS and run Virtual Machine Manager. That's an extra step that you don't have to do, but I chose to do that because my main driver is my Macintosh computer. Now, that said, let's jump over to the Mac and launch Virtual Machine Manager. Okay, so now that we've gone through the steps of downloading and compiling the Windows ISO file. Let's get started with Synology Virtual Machine Manager. We'll show you how simple it is to set up the Windows 11 virtual machine on Synology. They make it very simple. So we're signed into my Synology DSM-7. It's the DS920+. Plus. We'll come over to the main menu and click on Virtual Machine Manager. Now what you see here is the Pop! OS virtual machine that I have from a couple of videos ago and then I just tested the Windows 11 VM yesterday and it worked successfully. So those are the two machines. However, the first thing you need to do is come over to the image tab and make sure you upload the Windows 11 ISO. So I already have it here from testing it out yesterday, but that's the first thing you need to do. Just come up to the add button and then just browse for the file on your local computer and just have it uploaded to Synology Virtual Machine Manager. Once it's listed here, let's go back to Virtual Machines and you'll see how simple this process is. We're going to click on Create and we're going to choose the operating system Microsoft Windows and we're going to click on Next. We're going to select our storage. So our storage in this case is the DS920 Lab. We're going to click Next. I'm going to give it a name and since I already have the Windows 11 Virtual Machine from yesterday's test, I'm going to call it Windows 11 demo. I'll give it four CPUs. I'm going to give it eight gig of RAM and we're just going to go with the default for the video card and we're going to click on next. For the virtual disk we're just going to give it 60 gig and I'll leave this set to automatically switch the disk controller. We're going to click on next. 
We're going to leave the network set to the default VM network and click next. And now we have to select the ISO file. So we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to choose the Windows ISO file here. Now, if you don't complete that first step of adding the ISO to the image tab, then the ISO file will not appear here. So that's a very important step to complete. Now that we've selected our ISO file, let's go ahead. We're going to leave everything else set to the default. and so we're going to click on next. Here it says assign power management permit permissions. So I'm going to give my user permissions and click on next. And then it's just providing a summary. I'm going to select the option to power on the virtual machine after creation and we'll go ahead and we'll say done. So if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. It helps get it out to more viewers. Now back to the video. Now you can see here Windows 11 demo creating 85%. It's powered off and it should power it on automatically. There we go. And it's powered on and it's running. So let's go ahead and select that machine and click on connect. And there's the Windows 11 logo. So that's a very good sign. Now I will tell you from experience yesterday that the installation process did take quite a bit of time. So I'm just going to edit this video so that you don't have to sit through the whole process. I'll just show you the key elements. So that didn't take too long at all. Let's go ahead and go through the wizard. So for language to install, I'm going to select English, time and currency, English, keyboard input, US. We'll click next. And now we're going to click on install now. I do not have a product key for Windows, so I'm just going to come down here and select I don't have a product key. And you can see the choices that I'm presented with. I'm going to just select Windows Home for this demo and click Next. I'll accept the Microsoft software license terms and click Next. And we have the choice of installation. I'm going to go with custom installation and click on Next. And you can see now it's actually starting the Windows installation. Okay, so that took about a solid 25 minutes to get from the point where I clicked install now to get to this point here where we'll go through the wizard. So let's go through it. So is this the right country or region? So for me, United States is correct. I'm going to say yes. Is this the right keyboard, le keyboard layout or input method US? I'm going to say yes. I don't want to add a second keyboard. And now it's going out and checking for updates. So it looks like the updates have completed and now Windows is in the process of rebooting. And there's our typical Windows greeting. Hi, getting everything ready for you. And I could hear the NAS down below percolating away.
Okay, and finally, we are at the Windows 11 desktop. There's the start menu. There's the search. There's the desktop views. Let's see if the widgets load. They didn't load yesterday when I did it on the test run through. Doesn't look like they're going to load today. Nope. Let's go over to the file explorer. Oops. And there's the file explorer. Let's launch edge. And there's our Edge browser, typical first startup of Edge. Okay. So there you go. Windows 11 running on a Synology DS920 Plus inside of Virtual Machine Manager. So to share a couple of thoughts with you and be real with you, the process of setting up the Virtual Machine in Synology's Virtual Machine Manager was super simple, as you saw in the video. However, the whole process from start to finish, from getting the ISO file downloaded and compiled to getting to the actual Windows 11 desktop, took a really long time. About two hours to get the ISO file, then it took forever for the virtual machine to run through the Windows installation, and it took even longer for the virtual machine to download and install the Windows 11 updates. However, I hope it was worth the effort. I tried to cut out the parts that weren't super important and just piece together the video so that you can see the key elements. I will say though, even though the process was pretty painstaking to sit through, especially all the off camera stuff that I didn't show you, the actual Windows 11 virtual machine is running pretty responsibly inside of Synology's virtual machine manager. So if you just want to check out Windows 11 and you happen to have a Synology that can run the virtual machine manager, it might be worth a shot of getting it installed, sitting through the whole process because then you can play around and get a feel for the new Windows 11. So if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I wanna thank you for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.